uh, hi hello uh, everyone i am dr vishweshwaraya s assistant professor of uh, english working in government first aid college kunigil which is affiliated to tumkuru university karnataka uh yes here in this uh, session uh, my topic uh, is on gulliver's travels written by jonathan swift part 1 their the voyage to lilliput their uh, chapter 1 summary so chapter 1 summary is the main focus uh, in this video dear viewers um gulliver's travels a beautiful uh, uh, novel written by jonathan swift so here gulliver travels has uh, four parts so the first one is the voyage to lilliput so among the four the first part one is introduced uh, for uh, tumkur university uh, ug students uh, who are studying in ba uh, optional english students dear students uh, here you need to focus on the chapter 1 summary and summarizing the complete chapter 1 and also analyze it how uh, swift uh, thought of uh, a beautiful uh, you know world uh, of lilliput voyage to lilliput so that is how you know uh, it attracts the readers to just uh, look at that 6 inches a uh, lilliput or a uh, human beings uh, with the uh, 6 feet uh, <coughs> gulliver gullivers gulliver look at how uh, this uh, you know uh, uh, the land of lilliput in the kingdom and uh, these are all uh, very interesting uh, 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 thing uh, to know about this novel okay uh, dear viewers it is an attempt to locate you to get the novel and to make you to understand the intention of swift writing this novel okay so in this uh, you know, background uh, i just uh, look, you know uh, share or the screen or you know uh, there will be uh, slides on the screen so that uh, you can have a glance on them and uh, get the information more about it okay so come on i'll just go to that yeah <coughs> sorry yeah so uh, this is the title of my Uh, you know title slide of my uh, uh, presentation of you know this uh, here the title is uh, jonathan swift's gulliver travels part 1 the voyage to lilliput uh, especially at the chapter 1 the uh, uh, summary okay so look at that we'll go to here in chapter 1 the novel begins with lamuel gulliver introduction Lamuel Gulliver is the main character in this uh, 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 novel fiction uh, uh, recounting the story of his life this chapter begins with uh, his family history so uh, dear viewers uh, you need to look uh, carefully that the chapter 1 uh, uh, is completely about uh, Lamuel gulliver's family and his education and his background so in in detail it is explained in chapter 1 okay let us look at the character or uh, you know the main character in this novel uh, uh, we can call it as the hero of the novel lamuel gulliver this gulliver what he does you know 
he is born to a uh, family in nottinghamshire the third of five sons okay so look at uh, here gulliver although he studied at cambridge as a teenager his family is too poor uh, to keep him there so he is sent to in london to be a surgeon's apprentice so because of uh, the family background gulliver comes to the uh, comes to london for his studies and there uh, he became a uh, you know uh, he uh, there under a man named james batts he learns mathematics and navigation with the hope of traveling to okay so um, uh, james batts a very uh, uh, influential uh, uh, character or you know influenced um, uh, 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 in as a model uh, he stands as a model to gulliver so then there he learns mathematics and navigations with the hope of traveling so it basically uh, La uh, gulliver uh, lamuel gulliver interested in uh, traveling especially navigation voyages to take voyages is very much interesting to go uh, when he is uh, when his apprenticeship uh, ends in london he studies physics at leiden so after that he didn't simply keep quiet so after his apprenti apprentice uh, completed as a uh, surgeon he just studies physics to know more about navigation to know more about uh, the science behind it that is how here lamuel gulliver the main character in this uh, novel uh, okay he just um, became a surgeon and influenced uh, by uh, james batts and also he studies physics and gets more information about uh, navigation voyages okay look at that voyage now he starts his voyage here in this slide you can just see that in the east indies okay in the east indies the antelope the name of the ship okay the antelope encounters a violent storm in which 12 crewmen die sorry yeah okay uh, yeah sorry yeah please uh, in the east indies the antelope uh, the ship encounters a violent storm um, a tempest in which 12 crewmen die six of the crewmen uh, crew members including gulliver board a small rowboat to escape so soon the rowboat capsizes the gulliver the gulliver loses track of his companies they are never seen again gulliver however swims safely to show to show he then becomes a surgeon aboard a ship called uh, swallow for 3 years somehow you know look at that how we you know antelope you know it was uh, completely hit to the shore and uh, he became a surgeon aboard a ship called uh, swallow for 3 years he was uh, there okay so then how you know his voyage take place and he is interested to go uh, to work uh, uh, with the ship or in the ship and to you know uh, as a surgeon so gully was marriage afterwards he settles in london for some time working as a doctor there uh, he marries a woman named mary 
birth him okay he got married to a woman mary burton his business uh, begins to fail as a doctor when his patron dies so he decides to go to sea again and travels for 6 years again ultimately he chooses uh, uh, his uh, you know destiny uh, uh, in the voyage he travels uh, for 6 years in the sea he go to the sea to uh, decides to go there although he has a uh, plan to return home at the end of this time he decides to accept one last job on a ship called the antelope okay so here as i told you that antelope uh, is the ship he boarded and to go to the long voyage travel for the 6 years the antelope hits a violent storm and crew members die as i already told you few escape the sinking ship and soon all separate like okay, if you escape and uh, you know they separate then it's very important uh with the you know rowboat okay rowing the boat galiwar reaches a shore there galiwar's encounter lilliput galiwar with uh, you know lies down on the grass to rest and soon he falls asleep because of tiredness because of uh, you know uh, that uh, so much tiredness uh, out uh, due to uh, the storm when galiwar lying down on the grass taking rest soon he falls you know he falls asleep when he wakes up he finds that his arms legs and the long hair had been tied to the ground piece of uh, pieces of uh, thread he just you know uh, his hand arms legs and even long hair tied to the ground with a piece of thread look at that he can only look up and the bright sun prevents him from seeing anything see uh, uh, galiwa lying down so just he can see up that's all because his arms legs and you know uh, hair long hair tied to the ground he can't move or he can't tilt sideway so he can only see up and just you know shining sun you know prevents to uh, 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 no, not to open the eyes he feels something move across his leg over his chest he looks down and sees to his surprise a 6 inch tall human carrying a bow and arrow see suddenly uh, what happens galiwa he feels something moving across his leg and over his body and over his uh, chest he looks down and sees what is that and what's happening then it was very surprising thing that a 6 inch tall human look at that 6 inch tall only so much a uh, tall human carrying a bow and arrow very small small you know lilliput sword just you know moving across the body that they are you know carrying Oh, bow and arrow. At least forty more little people climb onto his body. Look at that, forty to forty and more than forty people, little little people, climb onto his body. 
he just surprised by seeing at the small small you know uh, very little people on his body moving around okay like uh, like ants or like you know seem like humans he is surprised shouts loudly frightening the little people away and he shouts who is that and what's happening something like that you know he shouts caliber shouts suddenly frightening the little people they you know moved away they return however and one of the little men cries out they you know suddenly uh, uh, because of uh, uh, gulliver's uh, shouts they you know they return but however one of the little men cries out hekina degul hekina degul means the language which gulliver doesn't understand look at the gulliver struggles to get uh, you know loose and finally succeeds in breaking the strings binding his left arm look at that what he does uh, gulliver uh, when you know uh, uh, some of the little uh, you know uh, men or uh, they uh, return or they just you know uh, moved away and he just uh, gulliver try to struggle to get loose of uh, finally and you know he breaking the strings which is already tied to the ground and of his left arm so he loosens the ropes uh, tying his head so he can turn to the left only because you know he can just turn to the left in response the little people fire a volley of arrows into his hand and violently attack his body and face and face see what happened uh, when gulliver uh, he tries to he struggled to get it uh, uh, is you know losing the breaking the strings suddenly the the, the little people uh, lilliputs or lilliputians they they just you know uh fire uh, the you know arrows in on into his uh, hand and violently attack his body and face so uh, it was hurting uh, uh, it is hurting to gulliver and he decides that uh, the safest thing to do is to lie still until night fall see what he does was uh, what he does he thought that uh, these little people doesn't leave simply uh, if he just breaks it out then uh, gulliver thought for some time and he 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 thinks that let it be like uh, you know cool not to just you know try to get up so he uh, safely Uh, you know, lie still um, until the night fall. Okay, look at how uh, beautifully that when Lamuel Gulliver reached the shore and he was lying on the grass, suddenly he fell. Uh, you know, uh, he falls asleep, and he when he woke up, he saw that Lily puts on his body. no so this is happening uh, you know how lily puts attack his body yeah then after some time what happens uh, lily puts hospitality here we see that hospitality of uh, lily puts the noise increases as the little people build a stage next to next to gulliver's about a foot look at that about a foot length the noy you know the little people build a stage so that you know building the stage and their uh, noise increases 
about a foot and half of the ground, from half of the ground. I think they are building a, uh, you know, um, they are building a stage. Then, you know, Galigo saw that oh, maybe something is happening. So just he was waiting. One of them climbs onto it and makes a speech in a language that Gulliver does not understand. So one of the one of them, you know, one of them, one of the little Lilliputians, you know, then uh, climb up the climbs the stage and makes a speech in their own language. But Gulliver he doesn't understand. So, uh, Galibo indicate, indicates that he is angry because of tiredness and because of uh, you know, so many days, uh, you know, in the travel he left and uh, uh, again, you know, due to hungry, he indicates that he is hungry and the little people bring him baskets of meat. So then, uh, you know, when he signs, uh, uh, you know, with the sign only, he indicates that uh, uh, he is hungry. Then the little people, what they did, uh, uh, they, you know, bring him uh, baskets of meat. He consumes it all and, you know, he eats all the meat and then shows that he is thirsty. So after having food, he thought that to have some drink, you know, or drink water. He just felt that to have some water, like feeling thirsty. So they, you know, bring him two large barrels of wine. Okay, that is that that is very, you know, beautiful for uh, Galiwa. Galiwa was, you know, is a very uh, attracted to that and tempted to pick up. Uh, 40 or 50 of the little people and uh, throw them against the ground but decides that uh, he has made them promise a goodwill and is grateful to their hospitality then you know after our having all those things he, he decided to just you know irritating those uh, 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 you know lilliputs he thought that to take some man throw them out but you know he was very much attracted uh, for the hospitality of the Lilliputs. So that he was attracted and he was very much graceful, grateful to their hospitality. Okay. And then after that, what happens? Galiva carried to the capital city. See, this is, uh, this is very, uh, again, now uh, a turning point of the uh, you know, novel in the story see he is also struck by their bravery since they climb onto his body despite his great size look at that see they uh, the lilliputians you know they take for granted uh, of uh, the galiva see what they did uh, what they do always you know what they do always with the bravery they climb onto the body of uh, you know galiva and with a great size of the body you know but they climb up, then an official climbs onto Gulliver's body and tells him that he is to be carried to the capital city. See, what happens, one of the officials climb up on, the, on his body and stood there and he stands there and says that, tells him that mm, they, he is to be carried to the capital city. So we are going to carry you to the capital city. Then Galiva wants to walk, but uh, tell him. I uh, know they tell him that that will not be permitted. Then he was very happy that uh, Galiva was very happy because uh, they, you know, one of the officials, you know, say, says that um, Galiva to be carried to the capital city. Immediately Galiva's intention is that uh, oh, I'll be getting free. So that I can walk and go to until the city. But you know the, the thing is, uh, Gulliver mm, mm, was not uh, allowed uh, or not permitted to go by walk. 
see what they do here instead they bring a frame of wood see they you know bring a frame of wood raised 3 inches of the ground from 3 inches of the ground and carried by 22 wheels you know 22 wheels they just uh, arrange to carry gullivers on the you know uh, trolley or on the you know uh, two wheels like that look at how 900 men see on the trolley 900 men pull this cart about half a mile to the city city is a half a mile you know that 900 little people are carrying the uh, trolley okay then Gulliver's left leg is then bedlocked to the large temple. They uh, they carried to the um, you know uh, temple. So they went there and uh, you know they carried to the temple uh, and it is uh, okay and uh, then bedlocked to a large temple. See tied the left leg to the large temple and giving him only enough freedom uh, to walk around the building in a semicircle and lie down inside the temple that is how you know uh, uh, that much uh, <laughs> freedom only uh, given to galiva look at that he was carried no uh, uh, he he they, he is here uh, carried to the Mm, temple there he uh, the left leg is then padlocked and you know mm, looking after looking him or looking after him or uh, you know that such things are happening when Gali were carried to the capital city so uh, right uh, Gali was uh, here yeah See, this is about uh, uh, the chapter 1. So, until then, the chapter is, you know, chapter closes here uh, uh, with that, you know, uh, Gulliver carried to the capital city and there he tied to the temple uh, with, uh, you know, uh, uh, only to move, only with semicircle to go. Then, what happens? See, uh, let us have some analysis of this, you know, chapter 1. Gulliver's narrative here begins much like other travel records of his time. The description of his youth and education provides background knowledge and establishes Gulliver's position in English society. See, uh, you know, just simply uh, telling about uh, the introduction of the um, you know uh, main character in the novel. It is important that you know. The description of the you is youth and education provides the background of this you know uh, position in English society. It causes the novel to resemble true life accounts of uh, travels at the sea published uh, during uh, Swift's lifetime. Okay, Swift imitates the style of a standard travel of throughout the novel to heighten the satire. See here. Uh, 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 Swift uses uh, 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 used satire to just to uh, uh, look at that style of standard of uh, you know travel on. Here he creates a set of expectations in our minds, namely a short-lived belief in the truth of Gulliver's observations. Okay, so like this, um, we can say that uh, here we see. The exaggeration of absurdity the use of you know exaggeration of absurdity swift uses the style of um, travelogue uh, to exaggerate the absurdity of the people and places with which gulliver comes into contact a fantastical style one that made no attempt to seem truthful accurate or traditional would have weakened the satire by making it irrelevant but factual 
repertorial style of Gulliver's Travels does the opposite. Gulliver is surprised to discover the Lilliputians but is not particularly shocked. He was surprised, not shocked. This encounter, this meet is only the first of many in the novel in which we are asked to accept Gulliver's extraordinarily experiences as merely unusual. Okay, like this, uh, uh, we can just conclude by saying that uh, this chapter, uh, seeing the world through Gulliver's eyes, we also adapt for a moment Gulliver's view of the world. Okay, look at that how. Finally, uh, it may be a way of okay, uh, no, destabilizing humanity's position at the center of the universe by demonstrating the size, power and significance are all relating. Although the Lilliputians are almost pitiful, small in Gulliver's eyes, they are unwilling to see themselves that way. Rather, they think of themselves as normal and of Gulliver as a freakish gaint. Okay, by saying this, uh, so uh, I hope that uh, you just uh, uh, understood uh, this chapter one. How Lamuel Gulliver started his journey uh, uh, in Antelope, and finally with the catastrophe or with the storm, the Antelope breaks down, and you know, see. Uh, he lost uh, his companions, uh, crew members in the uh, you know a ship. Finally, uh, Gulliver uh, reaches the uh, shore, and he just encounter the Lilliputs, Lilliputian world, or Lilliputian kingdom. That is how the journey begins of Lamuel Gulliver. Okay, uh, dear uh, viewers, uh, this is about the chapter 1 summary and in the next uh, you will be having second chapter, chapter sec uh, 2 summary and its analysis. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much for listening to me and kindly subscribe and watch.